What is going on guys? Today I'd like to talk about some of the changes that will be coming to Call of Duty tomorrow. Of course tomorrow will be Thursday, uh, January the 7th. And that is when uh, Treyarch has decided to move kind of their weekly updates. Before I get into all the details, make sure if you're not subscribed to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the content, uh, take a second to click that like button. And also check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. Now we're used to getting playlist updates on Tuesday. It seems there's going to be some changes because a lot of people were curious yesterday why Raven Software, which is handling the Warzone side uh, of, of Black Ops Cold War right now, why there was no changes to the DMR. Uh, a lot of people have been calling for the DMR. Uh, 14 and the Type 63 to be nerfed in Warzone. They're way too overpowered. The MAC-10, the dual pistols, that kind of thing. And there were a lot of tweets yesterday from Treyarch says uh, that playlist updates are moving to Thursday. And then later yesterday, Raven Software also said, uh, here's the Warzone playlist update for Thursday. So I started talking about things that we're going to do in Warzone Thursday. So it looks like both companies are moving the playlist updates from Tuesday to Thursday. Which is all right, in my opinion. Uh, if you remember Modern Warfare, uh, when Modern Warfare was out, Infinity War did this a couple times. Majority of the time it was on Tuesdays, but there was a few times that it kind of went to Thursday. So, you know, whatever day is, I guess, best for them it is probably going to be fine with the community. But the one thing that I was really happy to see for the Warzone community is Raven Software kind of tweeted out saying, don't fret, we've heard about your balance update, and that will be coming soon. Uh, they're going to address the concerns with the DMR-14, the Type 63, the MAC-10, and the dual pistols. But they did go on to say this is going to be for Warzone only. So it does not look like those weapons are going to be touched uh, in the Cold War multiplayer uh, itself. Now, Treyarch has not mentioned anything about any weapon tuning for tomorrow. They did talk about some playlist update uh, changes and things like that. Of course, I will make a separate video for that tomorrow when that is released. But I did kind of find it interesting that Treyarch's not really talking about tuning any weapons or doing anything right now. I was kind of figuring we would get some type of weapon changes because Treyarch, as you all know, seems to uh, be a company that's kind of on top of, of changing up the meta over and over. And of course, as of late, uh, the AK-47 has been banned in Pro League. You know, they don't play with a lot of the th same things that you play with in a regular multiplayer match. And that is one thing that has been taken out uh, of the pro league as of late. The pro players decided it was just too good in, in pro players' hands, so they decided not to use it. I was kind of figuring uh, with all that going on in the pro scene, a lot of complaints about things in multiplayer, uh, I thought Treyarch might do something. They still may. They may have not just discussed that yet. They may be tomorrow before we actually know exactly what's going to go on with those changes for multiplayer. But we do know for a fact that tomorrow those balance changes will be coming to Warzone. And I'm sure a lot of Warzone players are really happy right now. There's been a lot of problems in Warzone between bugs, uh, all the reports of players cheating uh, cheating in tournaments, uh, plus all of these issues with these weapons. It's made it pretty much unplayable for a lot of people that really enjoy Warzone. I kind of hate to see that because Warzone got so popular, and now it's kind of, I mean, it's not that it's not popular. Don't get me wrong. It's still very popular. But a lot of the big-name people that play it, a lot of the big you know, Twitch streamers, YouTubers, They've kind of been shying away from it as of late because of all the issues that I mentioned, plus the DMR-14, the Type 63, the MAC-10, and the dual pistols being so overpowered. That was pretty much the only thing anybody was using. And it's kind of like multiplayer. If you're in a multiplayer match, and let's just say, uh, you know, for example, there's one weapon that is just extremely overpowered, and that's all anyone uses, it, it gets to be kind of not fun to play because you have to use those meta-style weapons to be able to compete. And I still think Cold War has a bit of an issue with that. There's still a few weapons that that I don't think necessarily need to be nerfed. I think some other things need to be buffed to kind of get on the even playing field with some of the weapons in Cold War multiplayer. That way you have more of a variety. And that way you don't feel like you're just forced to use one or two meta weapons. You can use other things to compete with those meta weapons. And I've always been a, a big fan of buffing other weapons and, you know, only nerfing if it's absolutely necessary. I can't understand why they're nerfing the DMRs. Uh, right now because those are extremely overpowered in cold war they're pretty good in multiplayer in my opinion as well a lot of people have good success with them personally for me I, I don't really have great success with them i get a lot of hit markers I don't really ever get a lot of two shot kills but of course you know it it's just kind of depending on what servers you're in that kind of thing but it seems when they transferred those cold war weapons over to modern warfare a lot of those weapons are a lot stronger than they were in cold wars multiplayer overall anyway guys leave me a comment with your thoughts are you happy to see this uh, do you think there will be any weapon changes for 
uh, Cold War tomorrow? Do you think we're just going to get a regular playlist update with some, you know, playlist changes and, and things like that, different game modes, whatever the case may be? Just kind of want to make a quick video letting you guys know that update has now been moved or those, you know, weekly playlist updates have now been moved to Thursday. I'm not sure if they're going to move their big updates when they do a big title update, if they're going to move that to Thursday as well. We'll kind of have to wait and see. But leave me a comment with your thoughts. And, of course, if you liked it, hit the like, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.